frustration is mounting for many still waiting on unemployment benefits. More than 350,000 people who have filed for unemployment in North Carolina are still waiting for that money to come in. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton shows us what the governor is saying about that and how it's impacting people here locally. Living on the Outer Banks, Jam Mortensen knows things can be unpredictable. Over the years, he's been in contact with News 3 during hurricanes and tropical storms. He sent us these pictures a few years back. But right now, he finds himself caught in an economic riptide. It's, it's twisted. You know what I mean? Take a look around, man. It's twisted. We're, we're living in crazy times. Mortensen filed for unemployment in March as the tackle shop where he works at is closed. And now here in mid-May, he hasn't gotten any payments. It's just ridiculous that we'd be put in this kind of situation. He says his claim is listed as pending. He's made call after call to try and get answers, but hasn't had any luck. My God, it's, it's been a nightmare, man. It, it took me 50 days just to make initial contact with them on the website and by phone. 50 days. Mortensen isn't alone. About 361,000 people in North Carolina have filed unemployment claims, but not yet gotten any money. Governor Roy Cooper says the North Carolina Division of Employment Security is staffing up to try and keep up with all the demand. They know at that department that they need to do more and that they need to move faster. And I am pushing them to move faster. And to try and help jam out, we called the unemployment customer service line and got what's become a familiar response for many. We're sorry, but all of our call center agents are assisting other people right now and our health queue is full. For Jam, he's gotten some help through his church, but is stretching to make ends meet. I'm hanging in there. Um, it, it's frustrating, but I feel motivated now. You know, it's if you're just sitting there waiting for somebody to do something for you, it ain't never going to get done. As for now, he and hundreds of thousands of others are left pending while the state tries to process all of these claims. I'm Brendan Ponton, News 3. And let us take.